Hello everyone, it's Nitij here. Today we are going to build an exciting project where we will learn how to enhance the performance of our React applications by using web workers. We are going to build a custom React hook that seamlessly integrates web workers, enabling us to run heavy computations in the background without blocking the user interface. So let's get started. So this is Visual Studio Code with a template of react application created using create react app i will be starting with creating the hook in the src folder by first creating the hooks folder and then creating the folder for the hook which is going to be named as use web worker now inside this folder i will create a file with the name index.js so this hook is going to be designed to instantiate a web worker then send data to the web worker and then handle the web worker's response asynchronously. I will go through each line of code explaining how to create the worker, manage its lifecycle and ensure it communicates effectively with our main JavaScript thread. So first I am going to create the function for our use web worker hook with the name use web worker. This is going to be an arrow function. All right, so our web worker function is going to accept two arguments. The first one is the web worker function itself. So let's name it as a worker function. The second one is the input data that we are going to send to the web worker when it starts to run. This hook is going to expose three state variables to the component which is using it. The first one is going to be the web worker's result. The second one is going to track any errors. And the third one is for the loading state of our web worker. Okay, so let's just start with the result variable. So result and then set result equals to use state. The initial value of result is going to be null. And then let's add the state for the error. So error and then set error again use state and then default value of null and now for the loading state so loading and then set loading with the initial value of false all right so next thing that i'm gonna do is to memoize the worker function by using use callback so that our worker function will not be recreated again and again on subsequent component renders so let's do that so const memoized worker function equals to use use callback and then we have to provide the worker function as the argument and then an empty dependency array because there will be no arguments for the worker function next let's use the use effect to call back a function whenever our input data or the memoized worker function changes so use effect and then the callback function for the dependency array we are simply going to put the input data and also the memoized worker function whenever these two values are going to change then we are going to run this effect hook again to reinitialize and run the worker function with updated values so the first thing that we need to do is to convert our memoized worker function to a string so const code equals to memoized worker function dot to string this is just going to stringify our worker functions contents into javascript code which we will use to create a blob which will then be used to initialize a url so const blob equals to new blob and then for this blob we need to provide the argument for our code and then its type so this can be done by simply first creating an array and then over here i'm going to use a template string so template string and then let's write the code over here so hold on and then we need to enclose it as an immediately invoked function expression so you must be thinking what is this syntax or what is this pattern that i'm using over here so our function code will be enclosed in these two parentheses and then we will 
call this function as an immediately invoked function expression when it will be run by the browser so next let's provide its type so the type is application and then javascript all right next i'm just going to create the um, the url which can be used to locate our web worker function code so worker script url equals to let's use url dot create object url and then provide the blob as an argument finally let's create the worker itself so const worker equals to new worker and then provide the worker script url as an argument all right so following these steps are going to initialize our web worker next we need to post the data to the web worker so let's just call worker dot post message and then we need to provide the input data as the argument now let's set up the event listeners on our worker so first i am going to set up the listener for the on message event so hold on worker dot on message equals to a function with the event as an argument so when we will receive the message then we will simply set the um, result state variables value with the um, message data so e dot data and let's also do the same thing for the error event so worker dot on error equals to uh, hold on another function with the event as an argument so set error and e dot error message in the end we also need to do the cleanup as well so it will simply mean that when the component will unmount then any running worker will terminate and then we will also release the resources held by our worker script url so return a function which will simply call worker dot terminate and url dot revoke object url which is going to be the worker script url and we will not need this parenthesis okay so you must be thinking where are we going to use the loading state so first let's encapsulate all of this code within the try catch block to catch any potential errors so try and i am just going to move everything from over here to this try block and let's also add the catch block as well so catch with the error so when there will be any other errors then simply set the error message using the error state variable so set error and then e dot message now before we start to initialize our worker code we will just set the loading state to true indicate that the worker is still running and also reset any um, previously set error values so reinitialize it to its default value which is null and when we will receive the message from the worker then we will simply set the set loading to false also if there is any error then also we need to set the um, loading state to false same thing needs to be done for the catch block as well in the end we just need to return the values to the component which is using the web worker so return and then result error and then loading let me format this entire code as well okay so now it's time to use our web worker hook but before that let's export the web worker as well because i forgot to do that so export default and then use web worker i will open up app.js and will remove the default content from over here let's also remove the logo first i will simply import the use web worker hook now for our web worker hook first we need to provide the worker function as an argument and then we need to provide the input data which our worker needs to process so first let's create the worker function so function and then worker function and hold on the worker function will be able to receive any messages that we will send to use the message which has been posted to the worker function i will simply bind another function to the on message event 
so this dot on message equals to function and from the worker function when we are done processing our logic so we are done processing the worker logic it could be any heavy computation or a long running task but when we are done doing it then we can simply return the results by calling this dot post message and we can post any message from over here such as message from um, worker function and this is how we can create the worker function now let's call our use web worker hook so const result and then error and then loading equals to use web worker now we need to provide the worker function as an argument first and then the input data so for input data i'm just going to provide some string value so some data to process we can simply add a condition over here that if loading is true then simply return loading same can be done for the error state variable if there is any error then we simply return the error message and then finally we can display the worker result by using the result state variables value whenever it is going to be available now let's save the code and run our react app locally to see how the web worker hook is working there is an error which says worker and worker script url is not defined i think this is because we are returning the cleanup function outside of the try block so i'm just going to move it from here to the end of the try block now let's save it this time it's working let me just refresh the page again so it briefly displays loading and then it displays the message from the worker function and that is how we can build a custom react hook to run web workers in our react applications this project not only boosts the performance of your application but also provides a deeper understanding of how multitasking can be achieved in a web environment if you found this video helpful then please consider subscribing for more content like this your support means a lot and helps me create more tutorials and guides thanks for watching and happy coding